Hey everyone, it's Tim here and uh, today I'll be reviewing Vidcraft, which is a video creation platform that allows you to create videos. Uh, but not only that, it also comes with an interactive video player like I've never seen before. I mean, you can add so many interactive elements to your videos that you create inside of this platform. And the thing is that you can uh, create videos with the platform, but you can also import Vimeo or YouTube videos and add these interactive elements to those videos as well. Uh, plus, it also comes with landing pages where you can add your call to action buttons where those videos are integrated. So I'm going to do a full review. Before I do so, make sure to check out the link in the description if you like to see the pricing, the available upgrades, some extra bonuses that you get if you purchase this through my link. So uh, check that out. All right, let's dive into this and let me show you how VidCraft works. So first, I'm going to start by showing you how to create videos from templates. Then I'm going to show you how to import your own videos and also uh, those landing pages, etc. And what I forgot to tell you is these videos can also be interactive. You can send them to even uh, with emails uh, where you can display the name of the person on top of the video or on top of the image that you're sending inside of an email. So lots to talk about. All right, let's let me show you how it works. So to create a campaign, you simply click on create campaign here. And here you can choose from video templates or like I said, you can import videos from Vimeo or YouTube or you can upload a video as well. Uh, but let's start by a video from a template. And here you have a library of templates that you can choose from. So these are uh, done for you, basically videos that you can modify inside of the platform. Now the, the cool thing, and maybe also uh, this is a downside of this product is that it is basic, uh, but that means that everyone can uh, create those videos. It's very easy. So let's say we want to create a fitness video here. So this is really a video uh, background as you can see here but it's also uh, videos like this where you have these animated uh, backgrounds like this these are more like uh, drawings um, cartoon cartoon style videos but let's say we want to take this one here we want to take this video we're going to give this a name so let's say fitness and we're going to click save and next and here you have the video creation tool now as you can see here at the bottom, you can see the different slides here. So I can click on another slide here and you can see what is being shown inside the video here. Now, when you click on this text, you can edit the text here. So you can add your own text. You can change the color inside the text. You can change the font. Uh, and here, the, the two lines, as you can see, we guarantee you that our gym is the best place to work out. Now, this is exactly what you see here. So, uh, is the best place to, to gym, for example. It doesn't make sense, but just to show you that it changes in here. Now, if you like to change background videos, etc., you can do that as well. So, you simply click on change background video. And then from here, you could search. So, let's say I'm going to search for fitness. And it comes up with all different kinds of videos about fitness, uh, which I can import here. I can simply select it. And then I can say what time frame I like to import. So let's say I want to import this area in here. Then I can hit save and close. Uh, it should be four seconds. So I should be importing four seconds because the slide is four seconds. So this is four seconds. I'm going to hit save and close. And now this video uh, will be used here. It says your video will appear here. So I can go over each slide here and I can modify it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can change the text, etc. And if I like to uh, create extra slides, I can do that as well by clicking on the plus here. And this takes me to the library of slides that you can choose from. So as you can see here, there are all different kinds of styles that you can choose from, like I just showed you. Uh, but here you can see all the different templates that you can choose from. You can also see, for example, here comes the text in the middle, here comes the text at the top. So let's say I wanna use this one and I'm gonna click insert here at the right bottom. And now this video has been added here at the end and I can change the style here. I can even change the background video again, simply go to the background video and type fitness and search for videos and I can import any kind of video here uh, that I'd like to import. So I'm gonna hit save and close and now this video will be imported in the background. Now let's say my video is done. 
I'm going to click save and continue. And then here I can choose the music. So it comes with a library of music or you can upload your own music. So let's say you have an MP3 in here. You can simply upload it. You can see here it's uploading here uh, and you can play it. So that's the music and then you can say save and render video. And that's how easy it is to create videos with Vidcraft. It's, it's super simple. Anyone can do this uh, and the video is now rendering. So when we go to our dashboard, you can see uh, there's video in the progress here. It's rendering. This is going to take some time, let's say five, between five and 10 minutes before the video is ready. Now, as you can see, I already had some videos in here, but I'm going to show you now uh, how you can add interactive elements to your video. So I already have a video in here, but let me first show you how you can import a video from Vimeo. So let's say this is my Vimeo account. I want to have this video with interactive elements. I'm going to copy my link. I go back to Vidcraft and I'm going to create a new campaign. In this case, I'm going to import a video. And here I'm going to choose between YouTube or Vimeo. In this case, I like to have Vimeo videos because it doesn't show related videos, etc. So I'm going to do Vimeo import. I'm going to call this or let's now let's call it what it is viral a viral dashboard and let's say i'm not going to do tags and description just going to hit proceed and now this is my video now look at this this is basically similar to a video that we created here so this video is still rendering but once this video is, is done you can click on this personalize icon it's the same as with this video and then you will see this screen and uh, honestly, this screen blew me away by the possibilities that this screen, screen comes with. As you can see here, this is my video, but here are so, so many options that you can add to your video. So first, let me show you the video action. So when I open this menu here, look at this. I can add a call to action link, a custom CTA, a link card, a free software download. Uh, I'm going to show you, show you all of them quickly. And I expand these one polls and quizzes here. I can add lead forms. I can do overlay templates. I can do reviews on top of my video from Google for reviews. I can do reservations. I could do a QR code. I can generate a QR code to a URL that will be displayed on top of my video. I can add a timer. I can do a, a menu card with a button. I mean, there are so many possibilities. So let me show you here. So when I click CTA link, look at this. It's going to add this on top of my video. I can do more, a custom CTA link. And the cool thing is that, for example, here, you could do a text type or an image type, but let's say a text type, and uh, I'm gonna do something like buy now here. Then I can redirect it with a link, so https timverdow.com. And here I can say, for example, I want this to show at eight seconds. So this means when I apply this, it will show at eight seconds. So let me play this video here. Okay, I'm sorry, it went a little bit wrong. I got a phone call here. It was not unmuted, it was an important call. Uh, but let me play the video. So here, at eight seconds, that's where we were, right? So here it says buy now, and I can click this and it will go to a button, or I can skip this here. Now let me cancel this one. And here you can see that it creates a timeline. So let me show you more. So a link card, that's a link card here on the top. Let me show you quickly what you can do. Add a free software, look at this. You can add this to your video. Let me cancel this. Uh, coming soon button, you can create something like this on top of your video and you can move it on your video, as you can see, uh, ebook download button. So it's an ebook. And again, you can set the start time. And for some, you can also set the end time. So between zero and five seconds, it will show this pop up on top of your video. Uh, a quiz button here, engage with quizzes. Now, the cool thing is that it will also show you uh, the end results of quizzes as well. It's pretty cool. I'm going to show you that as well in a second. Uh, shopping cart button. So you can create things like this on top of your video. And let me actually go back to the start of the video so you can see better. Look at this on top of your video here. 
And here you have all these modifications and it's too much time to go over it, but you can modify this whole pop-up on top of your video. As you can see, you can change the colors here. So if you'd like to change that to a blue button, everything changes and you can apply this and set the start and end time for all these things. Uh, product buy now button here. So you can add a product here. And again, you can move this around here wherever you would like to add this on top of your videos. So you can imagine that you can sell your products through your videos, a text and an image here. Look at this book now. And again, you can modify everything in here. So that's the first part, that's the CTA links. Second one, polls and quizzes here. So I can do a full screen custom poll here. Your question, I can change this. What color do you like, uh, pink or white? I can set the options in here. I can set the time here. And then also here, you can see the reports and the poll results as well for, for the video. Now let me go back here, full uh, four option poll, small. So you can also create a poll like this. Uh, four option half screen, look at this. This look pretty cool, right? And there's a skip button there as well. Uh, and you can also disable this so that the skip button is not there. Uh, that's the polls. You can do lead forms so that people can sign up. You can add your own HTML form in here. Uh, a trigger real form like that you're seeing right here. Look at this. Um, next one, lead collection form here. The whole screen becomes a lead form. And again, you can allow or not allow to skip this. So you can also say, hey, First, fill out your name and email before you can see the rest of the video. A text overlay, lower thirds here. So you can choose from all these lower thirds. There are different templates that you can see here. Look at this, John Doe. Uh, and this is a lower third. You cannot move the lower thirds, by the way, but you can change the colors here. Uh, let me see, social media icons. You can add those. So they're different designs, as you can see here, when you hover over them. Uh, you can add that to your video. You can add icons to your video if you like to add those. Uh, next one, reviews, add a review. Here, this is a cool one, Google review batch. So here you have the Google review batch uh, where you can add Google reviews to your videos like this. Uh, let me see, so you can add the URL in here. And there are also add a review here. So you can search for, you could search for a restaurant. Uh, let me see here, enter New York. Let me see if this works this quickly, Google. And okay, give me a second. Okay, I cannot find it. Maybe you need to connect your Google account in order, but then it will show Google reviews on top of your videos as well. That's possible. A reservation here, appointments, open table here, where they can do a reservation here. And uh, you can modify that all in here, as you can see. Um, embed script code. So if you like to embed your own script code, you can do that inside of your video. Well, you get the ID, right? Here, QR code button. If you like to create a QR code, you can simply add your URL in here and generate a QR code so that people can scan that inside of your video. Uh, QR button too, so that's another QR button, same thing. Uh, you can set the time when it appears, etc. You can set a timer with a text inside of your video to create scarcity uh, with a shopping cart here, a timer and a shopping cart for your specific product. Um, a restaurant menu here with a button here, spicy fried fish. You can do that in here. And then the final one, a menu cart here, Italian pizza. You know, if you have a video with Italian pizza, you could do that in here as well. You can move that around. Uh, you can add the URL, URL to the checkout. And yeah, lots and lots and lots of options, as you can see. And what I wanted to show you is if you add multiple things, so let's say you wanna do a custom poll here and you set the time here to start at, let's say here, um, let's start this at 70 seconds. You can see here the timeline. The first one is at eight seconds. The second one is at 17 seconds. If you wanna add a lead form, you can do that as well. So you say this is for, for 30 seconds, for example. You can see, um, oh, I first need to add a code here, but then the timeline will expand here where you can see all your call to actions. So that's the video part. Now, the videos will be embedded on a page like you're seeing right here. So this is a page that is being created for you. And this is done, oh, shoot, I'm gonna close my window. Let me get back to you. 
sorry, I clicked everything away. But basically this works for every video. So here you can see the video has been created. It has been rendered. So I can go to personalize video. I can do everything I just showed you on top of this video as well. Uh, and here you have your landing page. As you can see here, this is the landing page where your video will appear and you can modify anything on this page. So you can change the text, you can upload your own logo here, you can redirect these buttons and this video will be published on this page. When I preview this page here, it looks like this. Here you have your video, you can play the video as you can see and this is the end result. Let me show it to you. So that's the video that has been created very easily as I just showed you at the beginning of this video. And you know, this page can be modified here. So like I said, you can change the text, you can type here anything you like, you can delete anything you like, and you can share this page with your customers. Now, you can also customize everything. So there is an option to add names inside of the video where you can personalize the video like you're seeing right here. So here you can see an embed code for all these autoresponders that you're seeing right here. Now I'm gonna show you how that works so you can see all these autoresponders. And it comes with a code here. You could say personalized text, but then you should also have the personalized uh, code inside the video. When you copy this code and you go to a website like online HTML editor and I paste this in here, look at this. It says, hey, hello, first name, and it will replace the first name with the name of that person. And when you click on this, it will open the landing page with your video there with all the call to actions that you've added to your video. So that's how you can create those customizations and how you can copy and embed this on websites. You can copy and embed this inside emails as well. Uh, and that's how you can customize each video as well. Now, another thing that you can do here is you can send emails through the platform. So, for example, here you can see this is the email inside of the platform. So, here you can add contacts. So, here you can add contacts if you want to send this email to a person. Uh, or you can also here, uh, let me see, import contacts. So, you can upload a CSV file or XLS uh, these files are available and then you can send emails to the platform. Now you need to set up your own SMTP details inside of Vidcraft in order to send emails. But you can see here, so there are different templates, Christmas greeting, Thanksgiving, close a deal, discount. So there are some previews already. So let's say a uh, discount offer here, hi first name, and then you can see the video in here. And this can then also be personalized and you can send this. And then when they click on that video, they will be redirected to your landing page. And uh, you can send a test email in here, but this is how you can send emails through the platform as well. Now, another thing that I wanna show you here is with the video actions that I just showed you, all these call to actions, timeline actions, you also have the video settings. So you could do the player theme. If you don't like the pink theme, you can change that to another color. So for example, if you like to have blue, you simply change this to blue and then the player becomes blue. You can also add a link to the player logo if you like to do and your own player logo, you can save this. Uh, privacy, if you like to set a password for your video or an expiry date, you can do that as well. And inside the reports, you can see, uh, yeah, if this video has been shared, etc. Also here, you can set your own thumbnail for this video. Uh, and that's basically how you can create videos with Vidcraft, like I just showed you. You can also create other campaigns. Let me quickly grab another one like this one. You simply say, okay, tour and click on select it, click on save next here. Uh, and now you can see here it is with the first name. Do you see that? So this will be replaced with your first name. And again, you can go through the slides. Uh, you can modify the slides. If you'd like to change the background, again, you can do that here. Uh, and that's how easy you can create videos 
with Vidcraft. Now, again, if you're interested, make sure to check out the link in the description below. And uh, please give this video a thumb up if it was useful. Uh, it helps me to get my video up into the YouTube search results. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. I do a lot of product reviews. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.